This conference will now be recorded. Yes. So welcome once again uh, to this beautiful learning journey of Tosca. Yes, we are all here to learn about what is Tosca, why are we using it and why why Tosca has become so much popular. Okay. So yesterday, as a quick recap, I just wanted to give a quick recap. Like uh, yesterday, we have, we have just seen uh, where and all we are using Tosca and what is uh, what are the different certifications that presenters has given us uh, to achieve our path learning journey in Tosca and what are all the things that we are covering as a part of our course and what kind of support we are trying to give and uh, what all we will be learning on through this journey okay so that's pretty much uh, we have learned about it and we have also learned that tosca is a scriptless tool i've been reiterating the multiple times to make you understand that if you want to learn tosca it's like absolutely you don't need any scripting language you being a manual tester or you are not even you are relaunching your career or you want to choose a path uh, you know you, you might not be into testing also okay there are so many people who wants to change their career so even for them learning tosca is very good uh, added advantage to them even if you are ba yes it is always good your project manager it's always good to have a automation knowledge uh, in your resume that is getting added okay so there are lots of advantages of learning tosca let us see like what actually the Tosca is and uh, let us see how this uh, tool will help you to uh, I mean start building up your test cases all those things we'll have a quick uh, discussion and we will see if if I can just help you out with your if you are, if you still have any questions and queries I can take up and we can do, see it okay so just give me like couple more minutes as I told yesterday so we will see a little about so yesterday we were discussing right so like if, if at all if you have some knowledge in selenium java so it's little different from what you have there you have to build a framework from the starting but here the framework is already defined okay so there is absolutely like there is no need for you to start writing the framework okay so before I tell about what is, I mean, a uh, framework and all. So I just wanted to know, is everyone familiar about what is framework? I mean, just what exactly is a framework is? Yes, no. Uh, yes, I'm aware of. Okay. Uh, can you just tell me what exactly a framework is? I mean, uh, what you generally do in framework? A high level definition would help others to understand. OK, so I don't have the theoretical definition. But yeah, uh, when I was working in Selenium Cucumber framework, so it's like uh, we are having the structure. Uh, we can say, for example, uh, we were using uh, page object model. So in that we are having uh, the uh, folder structure and uh, where uh, we are having one for feature where we are keeping all the features and uh, we are having one folder for POM uh, means page objects where we are keeping all the pages and uh, we are maintaining uh, the functionality uh, pages wise and uh, next we are coming to the locators so in that we are maintaining all the locators of the pages and next uh, we are coming to the step definition of the features uh, whatever we have written so in that way we can see it is we can say it is like a structure uh, way uh, to um, to manage your project yeah that's exactly what i was also looking for so yeah as shweta told it's like a structured way it's like a uh, it's, it's like a path or it's like a way how you can design your project, okay? So it depends upon how you design it, okay? So whatever way you want it, you can design it by yourself. So here, 
there's already everything is designed you just have to cut the cake and eat it okay so that is a uh, that is the uh, flexibility you get from when you're using tosca okay so let us quickly see what are uh, so now we understood what is actually a framework a framework is nothing but which helps us to understand the flow or will which which will help us to understand what is going on in the project and how our project is being maintained okay so everyone has his own approach of developing it okay so coming to tosca we have two kinds of framework let me quickly share the screen so i did not uh, i am just uh, sharing my tosca that's it so yeah so there are uh, basically two kinds of framework so uh, it's called as classic uh, classic framework and tbox framework so classic framework was actually uh, i mean invented like as i mean tosca started its journey with classic framework where it was like in the old i mean in the starting it was when tosca has really started like how to grab the object pages and all so it started its career so there are few disadvantages with classic model it's like little very slow and uh, for nowadays whatever the technologies we are using to build up our web pages so it it, it takes a lot of time so there comes so always where there's a disadvantage there comes up a new thing uh, so that you can use it go to it okay so in the similar way they have come up with a new framework called tbox framework so tbox framework you will understand okay so don't worry about uh, what manasa is telling just just try to get familiarized to whatever the words i am telling so that slowly one by one everything you will get into it Okay. so for now you have to understand tosca has an inbuilt framework so basically there are two kinds of framework in tosca one is classic framework and other one is tbox framework so i'll just brief you about what uh, tbox framework is and then i'll show you how this framework works and how are we gonna capture the pages and how are we gonna start our test case journey with tosca okay so uh, how do i start so suppose uh, so when i have to capture anything on this uh, web page so generally when you are working with uh, selenium so what you do you write an x path or you write something so here everything is playing around with this a uh, section called modules okay so literally i can say modules is a heart and heart of the test cases whatever you create okay so what are modules what are the different types of modules all those things we will see so here is where we actually use our framework okay so basically tbox framework is nothing but we use for the latest technology web pages like ui and non ui applications so for uh, ui uh, if your uh, web page is developed with java or if your web page is developed with uh, any other like um, non ui programs like if you want to do a non uh, api testing or if you want to do an xml testing for all those things you can use this uh, tbox framework and coming to the classic framework it's like like older engines like it is called as x engine okay so these are all built up with x engines like classic framework so when you see whatever modules are present here so these are all developed from the uh, classic engines and this comes like these are ones which uses the x scan window and here is where you try to capture the uh, with the help of tbox framework okay so basically uh, tbox framework is what we use in our day in to day out life okay so did did you get what exactly i mean what are the different types of frameworks and uh, the major difference between tbox framework and classic framework so blindly it's like a classic framework is for classical engines like uh, if you want to do some operations on xml or mobile or if you want to do some uh, operations on sap and uh, pdf operations you want to do so for all those things you can use this x engines okay so for the latest technologies so like uh, 
not only the latest technologies, but whatever you want to do uh, in the recent times, or if you want to create a new module. So automatically this T-Box framework will come into the picture. Okay. It's nothing but like a, a T-Box framework is nothing but like a single framework where it will try to support all the different technologies like Ajax, Java, Oracle and other application controls. Okay. So there are different types of components for uh, like uh, T-Box framework and classic framework. So when coming to the T-Box framework, it is called as x -can window and coming to the classic uh, module it is called as x engine okay so you'll understand this slowly but just get familiarized with all these concepts okay so if i have to so now everyone must be very eager to know how exactly we're gonna get these pages and how tosca will interact with all those things okay so i'll just give you a sample uh, walkthrough like how we generally create a test case so that in the later stages you'll get uh, into one by one step by step for each okay so when you go to the modules you just have to click a scan and here you have different types of uh, what you do okay so application api mobile pdf remote control so whatever might be so a web driver if you want to do a salesforce scan file scan whatever might be so here you can go ahead and you can do it so now as we are doing on an application we go and uh, get to scan this application so whatever the application you want to scan like you want to interact your tosca has to interact this application needs to be opened in the back end and if you see all the applications will come up over here okay so this is what i want my tosca to interact so demo web shop okay so i'll talk about this now in some time just uh, get so now what happened all the things whatever are there here on my this uh, application is what I see in my X scan window. So what is X scan? X scan is nothing but one of the component of T box framework. So that means this is using the T box framework. With the help of the framework, it's tried to capture what all the uh, things are present on this. Uh, suppose if you see okay if you see this is a logout button okay so let me highlight so this is the logout if you see this is a shopping cart wish list search box search store books computers everything are here you just what you have to do you just have to utilize it and then start creating your test case okay so i'll i'll tell you one simple step okay so i just have to click on logout so i'll just select this save this close it and then i'll just start creating my test case here okay here i just have to perform a click operation so i'll just click on this so tosca will now understand so i have to go and interact with this particular link or logout and then i have to click on this so when i run this It will go and ideally it will go and click on this logout button. Yes. So did you see the mass, uh, cursor moving and clicking on logout? If you see, there's no no more logout. Now it's logging. Okay. So to, the, to write this a simple step, did I write any code? Did I do any 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 kind of scripting? Did you see uh, uh, doing anything? Yes, no would be good. No. Yeah. So this is how Tosca works. Okay. So whatever you see is as simple as how I create one test step. It is as simple as how you create a test case. Okay. Yes, there are a lot more things you want to explore about Tosca. You can explore about Tosca. So this is a very basic thing that I wanted to show you. So this is the easiness you get while you run your Tosca. And if you see my result is a green. So which means my test step, test case, whatever I've done is a pass. So it is working fine.
okay so how much time did it take for me to create one test step hardly one minute or two minutes two minutes let us say two minutes okay two minutes so if i have to in this way if i have to create some 10 to 15 test cases how much time do you think i can create 10 to 15 test cases hardly two hours even if you are a newcomer if you want to explore two hours within two hours i can create 15 test cases do you think i can do it yeah. So Mana sir, I have a question. Uh, so in Selenium framework or any other framework, we used to assert the result. So, I mean, is there any way uh, we are doing here the assertion or, I mean, how we are saying like it is passed? Uh, can, I, can you please explain a little more about what is assertion? So that everyone okay. else can understand your question. So assertion means, uh, for example, uh, you uh, perform logout operation, right? So uh, how you verify like uh, the application or the, I mean, the user is logged out. So you verified like uh, you are seeing login uh, link there, right? Rather than logout now. So yeah. uh, in Selenium, uh, we used to uh, assert uh, uh, those things like uh, we are expecting this and actually is this if uh, both are same, it means our test case is passed. So here how we are uh, validating that part yeah we have a lot more to learn okay so this is just one step to make you understand how we are trying to capture the things on your okay. application in the latest mm -hmm. stages we will learn each and everything okay all whatever okay. So you my are intent... telling, and you can also print your reports here itself you can show it to your so all those things will be covered okay so why okay. i just uh -huh is just to make sure uh, make you comfortable that it this is how easy uh this is how easy you can build a test case okay this is just one simple very simple basic step so that everyone can understand okay there is lot yeah, sure. of things. actually i just want to ask like uh, do we have any option to <laughs> do that as well i just want to yeah. ask that yeah yeah we do have a lot of options that is what i was telling right so there are a lot more concepts that we have to learn in tosca this is just to make you understand how simple it is to just build one test case i mean one simple test step i can say okay okay thank you yeah we will learn everything we will do everything everyone are gonna practice it and everyone will surely have this theory i mean not only a theoretical knowledge practical knowledge also okay yeah so this is pretty much about what you can understand about uh, framework so in the later stages when you start working right so automatically you will get used to this and you will uh, when you are uh, attending an interview you will like for sure you can answer what whatever question about the framework will come up okay yeah so now we understood that we have to do some magic in the modules so there's a lot more thing you have to learn in modules also it's not just a goal selected there are different ways you have to identify your particular property uh, property is nothing but what we are seeing in this okay so it might be a text box it might be a search box anything like that okay so if we have to identify this uh, there are different ways you can identify it okay I'm not going to that topic. We'll cover it in the next class. Uh, identification is all about what I've planned for tomorrow. But, but for today, we'll just talk about different modules and uh, how to create a test case. So just a very basic overview. Okay. So now you have understood. So we are doing something on the module section. So I'm doing something on the module section. I'm just uh, dragging and dropping onto my test case section so that it some test case can be created. Okay yeah and whatever you are seeing on the screen is called as tosca so this is where we will be working and this is a workspace that we are working on and if you see there are different modules like one is a module section another one is a test case section 
uh, it's a temporary uh, result where you are seeing okay there are, there's another way you can see your result and you can capture it okay that will talk later stages and here is an execution section if you see this is a project level folder okay and if you see this is a project so this is what a project that i have created while creating this workspace okay so don't get confused about what is workspace workspace is nothing but where you start working okay so in general terms everyone are in it i hope uh, so everyone will be going to the uh, offices nowadays so whatever they are doing they do have a workspace in their company right so in the similar way in tosco also we do have a workspaces again there are different types of workspaces we'll talk about it so this is a workspace what i have created and here if you see there are different folders so these are called as component folders okay you can create any component folders so component folders are nothing but where it makes your life easy like you can segregate with your execution list to your issues so if you have any issues that you have to report you can go and do it in this issue section so modules is what you just saw and reporting if you want to report if you want to do any kind of report you can do it in the reporting section so requirements is where we start our actual journey and test case design so here we design our test cases with the help of sheets test sheets that uh, this is a special feature that tosca has provided uh, okay unlike like excel sheets tosca also has one module called test case design where you can see excel sheet kind of thing and you can create n number of excel sheets here okay and you can map it to your test cases we are also talking about this in later stages when we are on AS2 uh, section and test cases is what we mainly work on whenever we are in AS1 syllabus and test planning. So whatever plannings you have to do, we are not talking much about test planning, but we do talk about test cases, test case design, execution section and module section. And for every test case, to start its journey it has to start it from module section okay so that is the reason i just briefed you about framework so in the module itself you have all the frameworks ready so just by clicking on the module the framework will be called automatically and with the help of the framework that is already designed we are using it and we are trying to create our test cases and we are trying to execute them okay so this is uh, pretty much about the tool, the Tosca tool and everyone will have the access very, uh, very soon like in the next one or two days. Yeah, so I can take up like questions for five minutes and then we'll jump quickly jump on to the next uh, topic. Any questions still here? Uh, Manasa, just one question. So are we starting the actual training on this tool starting from tomorrow? Uh, it's already ongoing. Okay, so whatever I'm telling from day one is what we are doing it. Okay. So the installation of the tool, uh, this we will be doing this week. Yeah, we will be doing like in couple of days. We'll be doing. Uh, I'll okay. let you know when. Uh, yeah, but surely we'll be doing by this week only. We we'll have everyone will have the Tosca tool installed in their machine. Okay, I'll make sure okay. that everyone will have the Tosca tool but till then there are few things i have already told you right there are few things that you have to get hold of so basic things before you start your practical so we'll be working on the basic things before we start doing playing around with our tosca tool okay. what version of tosca we are seeing now sorry okay sorry i just complete my question so mansa you were also telling about the classic framework and t box framework so yeah. what I understood is the T-Box framework, it is uh, used for all the latest technologies, as you said, Ajax, Java, and Oracle. While the classic uh, framework, it is used for the, uh, like the legacy application. Is my understanding correct? Yes, perfect. That is what I was okay. also trying to explain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll learn more about this when we are talking mm -hmm. more about these modules. So you'll get to get to have more knowledge, but for now, whatever as a basic, this is what you have to have embedded in your mind. Okay, all right. 
Yeah. Uh, Manasa, one question from my end. What version of Tosca yes. is this? Yeah, whatever I am using in my machine is 15.2, but uh, we can use 16, 16 version also. Now we have 16 trending. Okay. okay. Yeah. Any other questions that I have to take up? No other questions? Oh, then I'm so much clear about what I'm telling. Yeah, so we'll quickly uh, jump on to this kind of slides. Yeah, so if you see, these are the different, uh, yeah, different uh, technologies this Tosca is uh, supporting. So I could only, uh, I mean, figure out few so that these are main things that we will do. It's like X browser, mobile, .NET, Java, SAP, Win32, Power Builder, Word, Excel, PDF, databases, file content, web services, XML, REST JSON. So these are all different technologies that it can support. You can play around with Tosca. So that is a, there is also one reason that Tosca has become so much popular. And one thing, if I have to tell you, if you have seen this project, I mean, this component folder, you could see like test planning, test cases, test case design, requirements, reporting, modules, execution, everything can happen. Like once you come into Tosca end to end, everything can be done. And like you just have to uh, give the report to your uh, client saying that this is what this is, this is what this is. Okay. So it's like an end to end solution provider. Tosca is an end to end solution provider. So you have everything like API scan you can do, you can do configurations, you can do, you can set up a DEX CI CD pipeline so that your test cases are running continuously without no interruption. You can use Jenkins, all those things with the help of all those things, you can do like end to end workout on your test cases. Okay. So that is one more important feature of Tosca. Okay, so where I am I'm here? Yeah. yeah, so these are the main uh, Tosca suite components like you have repository, you have commander, you have executor, you have system under test and wizard and engines. So I told you, right, there are um, based on the engines, right, there are two types of framework. It's classic framework and classic uh, D-Box framework and X, X engines and X can are two different engines. Okay. And coming to the commander, so this is all about, this is a Tosca commander where we actually work and where we do everything and whatever we are doing on the execution section is what executor comes into the picture and commander will have uh, like one on one connection like it will talk to the commander and commander will go and say hey boss this is what you have to run so this is how the commander and executor will talk and repository is a place where we save all our test cases everything will be saved and you can and you can pitch in and pitch out whenever you want okay yeah and we'll talk about system under test so what is system under test so whatever application we are trying to uh, test is called a system under test. So it might be called as SUT or uh, system under test, whatever might be. So for now, you have to understand this is what we are working on. So I usually call this demo web shop a system under test whenever we are in this session. So I would request everyone to, create, uh, to go ahead and register with your um, your details like first name and last name, email. I would only request to uh, remember the email and password, whatever you are giving it here. Just uh, keep it in your mind so that we'll be using it in the later stages of our class. Okay. So let me ping, ping you this uh, quickly here in the go chat. So everyone can go ahead and so everyone can go ahead and start uh, registering yourself in the system under set uh, test so that we are going one step ahead of just starting your uh, using your uh, Tosca tool. Okay. So I would request everyone, please go to the chat window and just uh, go ahead and click on this link so that you can you can start uh, what I can say you can start registering to this uh, portal and we can 
I can give you like five minutes of time. Please uh, let me know once it is done. So oh, is everyone, anyone doing, is at least one person doing out of in this uh, class so that it would be great. We can give a disposable emails also, right, Manas? Any, any email and password I would request just to please, uh, I mean, make a note of it so that we will be using all through our uh, course okay whatever okay. might be the email so you'll not getting you'll not be getting any fish phishing emails or any any kind of advertisements nothing like that so no no worry about it okay so someone was asking about bharat i guess bharat was asking about hardware configuration required for tosca installation it's like you have to have uh, i5 it's it's pretty much very simple like i5 core 2.4 gigahertz and ram should be like more than 8 gb and you should have enough uh, hard disk space like it would be good if you have like more than 5 or 6 gb of uh, space and uh, yeah that's it. Not too much complicated about the hardware requirements. So thank you so much for responding in the chat. It is really great that so many have uh, so much so many people are doing it. I'm so glad for that. Yeah. Mansa, sorry. Uh, just one. Okay, I just wanted to check one thing, Manas. I'm using my office laptop, so the installation of the software shouldn't be a problem, right? Uh, for, uh, for office laptop i mean you have to you have to please uh, go ahead and check with your uh, because there are few people in my last project i mean last uh, sorry last my uh, training so who faced uh -huh. difficulties because they were not able to uh, install the tosca because oh. they had some, uh, ish, i mean issues from their project like they are not supposed to install it so you have to check on that from oh, our okay. perspective there will be no constraints but from your project i mean from your office perspective there might be some constraints mm -hmm. okay so, Marasa, i have one question uh, when you scan yeah, yeah. the particular web page right uh, it scanned all the images or links whatever it is it scanned randomly okay but you click down only logout. But uh, mm -hmm. can we rearrange this uh, based upon our necessary because logout should be at the last. Right? We can rearrange, right? Yeah. We can do it. We can do it. Thank you. So it's not it randomly. No, it's not randomly. It took with a purpose. Okay. You will understand what is a purpose and how it was aligned. So yeah please bear with me like another two to three days you will get to understand how this magic is happening okay thank you no problem yeah i see almost everyone is done with this yeah let's quickly jump on to the next thing so now everyone are clear about what is su2 SUT, it's nothing but system under test, whatever the application we are trying to use it. So what I would suggest is uh, today's as a, as a part of today's assignment, as I told you, every day you will get assignments. So today's assignment is pretty much easy. You just have to log in and you have to just see all the different flows. How when I add something to my ad cart, how is my shopping cart working? So after I go into the shopping cart, how are the things working? How can I check out? So I would request like everyone to go and see the functional flows of everything so that you get good grip of whatever we are planning to do. Okay. Mostly it's like don't waste time much on it. Like only on the books and apparel and shoes are the two most things that we'll be working on. So if it is, it's always good if you um, go and look around. But 
most of them it's like same here we'll be covering mostly on apparel and shoes and books yes so i would request everyone to go have a functional i mean functional review of what uh, i mean what application we are working on okay and this is pretty much about a simple architecture what i can see and this is what i have already explained you like we have test case section module section test case design execution requirements everything okay yeah so if you see this is a recent stroska circle as i've already told you starting from requirements to till the generating reports everything can be done in one single go in the tosca okay so here this is how the model of our tosca works so you have to extract the interface model like this is called a system under test so whatever the application that you are working on should be open and you start getting the technical information of the system under test into your tosca with the help of scanning the application and creating a module so once you get all the technical information like once you create your model module then you feed data to this technical information whatever you do so whatever i have captured in the module i have fed some information like technical information what action it has to perform is one of the technical information that i have given to my module that i have created and then i started running it okay so that is all in this uh, tool i mean in this slide like we extract the interface model and we on the technical information we feed the data for this and then we can create the test case so it is pretty much same for any kind of like application like even if it is salesforce if it is sap any engine only thing yeah there is a little change but pretty much this is how we will be working around okay yeah this is like a, a simple uh, i just want you to uh, understand how tosca is a scriptless tool and how others are so if you see this is called as application so this is one of the applications which has this different um, different text boxes drop downs and uh, and what is it next button okay so this is application if at all you have to write some script this is like most of the time this is how much you have to write all the code and coming to the next slide so this is how i create a model so model or module is nothing but the same so if you see vehicle data is what i have tried to capture so if you see make is what here comes a make and engine performance year of uh, year of construction number of seats all the application thing technical information i have tried capturing in my module okay and this orange uh, symbol is what it denotes as a module or what we scan from the application okay so that is the simplest way i can make you to understand at this point of time okay so if at all you have to write a test case so this is how you can map your test case so whenever you drag and drop your module onto your test case so this is how a test tape is referred i'll explain each and every symbol uh, once we start with the creation of test cases but for you on a high level i'm just explaining you and this is how we feed the information like for make what is the information i have to give if suppose i want to give an audi as that i'll give it if the engine performance i want to give as 200 kilowatts i give it like this i just pass the data that's it test data okay so in the starting of our uh, sessions we'll be just giving the data like this and then slowly we will understand how to do the parameterization like how to not pass data here and make our script uniquely so that it can work for n number of times okay so there are lot more interesting concepts in tosca you can slowly do it okay so this is how uh, pretty much a test case is developed from our module okay and coming to uh, i was repeatedly telling that tosca is based on model based frame model based test automation okay so it's pretty much like what you see with the human eye you can directly go and create your test cases okay so that is the simplest way 
you can understand about model based automation like everything from requ requirements to reports you can do it and all the combine all combined together it's called as entire system is called as model which can be used for testing which can be used for anything okay regression testing or functional testing so that is why we mo mostly talk about as a model based test automation and if you see these are the different high level uh, technologies that we are supporting i um, mean recent is supporting like html java dotnet sap mobile service now windows databases uh, salesforce ablock and this is microsoft okay so today i just wanted you to introduce to this modules uh, section and i want you to have a like quick uh, just overview on how where we work and how the toast um, how our application uh, works so this is what i wanted to show you okay so in tomorrow's session uh, we will see little more about uh, how, our, how our page is uh, being designed and how are we trying to capture it and what are the different page identification methods. All those things we will see in the next classes. Okay. So that's it. Uh, pretty much I had for today. So if you have anything that I have to answer, please go ahead and I'll take up your questions. If not... Uh, we can wind up today's session. Yes, Mita, please go ahead. Are we going to discuss about requirements, reporting and issues? Yes, we are going to. Okay. We'll be discussing how the requirements can be map to our test cases how we can map it to the execution list and there are there's some magic that happens in the requirement section suppose your project is working on a risk-based automation so i'll tell you what is risk-based automation when we are talking uh, when uh, when we come to the requirement section so that time uh, i'll explain you still more clearly what is risk-based automation so whenever your project is working on risk-based automation you have to assess what risk uh, will come when you have to run this particular test cases. So all this assessment can directly happen in Tosca. Tosca will just take care of whatever uh, we want. We just have to tell Tosca, this is what I need. Okay. So it's like a handhold tool. Everything is there and you have to use it. Yeah, quickly one, one more question I have. Yes, Mita, please go ahead. Uh, I understood that we will be working only on web applications okay yeah. and mostly on the demo uh, application that we have that the tri tri has provided but uh, yeah. specifics yeah but specific scenarios like jira integration hp alm integration are we going to discuss this as part of the, the session no uh, this session is only designed as a basic to intermediate like basic to intermediate knowledge level so whatever you are asking about comes under advanced course so we do have advanced course you can just if you are interested on that you can enroll to that but for now this is uh, only this one we are actually planning to cover okay got it thank you yeah thank you Any other questions? Any other questions? Yeah. So if no questions, we can we can take a leave for today. Uh, we can meet up in tomorrow's session. So thank you so much for attending our sessions. Uh, have a nice long day. Thank you so much and bye-bye. Let us meet up in tomorrow's session. Thanks, sir. Bye. Thank you, Manasar. Thank you.